We have some news on Tony Kawa, 86, Inspector, and Spy Family in this bit. So if you have interest in any of these news, stay tuned. For our first bit of news we have is Tony Kawa Over the Moon for You. This series will be getting a sequel adaptation. Not only that, but they've talked about an additional episode. I'm not sure if that episode is going to be between the two seasons or not, but it's definitely exciting news for those that are fans of Tony Kawa Over the Moon for You. I have not finished the series, but I'll definitely be going back and checking it out. It was a series that I was okay with and I was interested to see more of. So to hear that it has a second season has me equally more excited. Additionally, Crunchyroll has already announced that they will be airing this particular sequel so you know where to get it from. For those unaware of the series, it essentially follows a guy who has a chance meeting with a girl. After being hit by a vehicle, he professes his love to this girl and asks her to marry him, and she agrees to it. And then this following day, she shows up with a marriage certificate and everything. So, so you can definitely give it credit for being a series that jumps right into a relationship rather than having the, oh no, they touched hands. So our next news we have is 86. Unfortunately, this series is going to have a delay. They have already announced following the broadcast of the 17th episode, that unfortunately the 18th episode will be seeing a delay. They have cited production circumstances on their official Twitter feed and instead will be doing a special broadcast in its place. The official website lists this special episode as being a visual commentary special program. The assumption is it'll be some sort of recap, but we'll have to wait and see. But either way, it is sad news, but at the same time, based on what's going on in the series, it's probably a lot of combat they're having to animate, and if they need some time, I'll give them some time. At least they're not doing last minute delays, and it actually looks like their production is out by at least a week, so it's a good sign for the future of the series. I just hope this doesn't snowball into them having future delays in the future, or at least trying to cram at least one episode out to get ahead again. For our next bit of news, we have Inspector. This series has been a long time since we had the first season, and we did get an announcement of a second season. It's just been quiet for quite a while on when this series is actually going to be coming out. Well, thankfully, in December's issue of Kodansha's monthly Shonen magazine, we finally have that answer. <laughs> and it's a year. Not a month, not a season. A year. We know that it's coming in 2022. That's all we have. <laughs> but at least it's something at this point. Now, Inspector is a series that I had a lot of hope for and a lot of love for just based on the character designs and the setup. But I unfortunately won't say it's a series that captivated me, mainly in the idea that it felt like a lot of the story arcs just drug out. But even still, just based on the characters, the chemistry, and what they had set up, I am interested to see more of the series. It follows a guy that meets a girl that is an intermediary between humans and spirits. And it follows them as they essentially take on different mysteries about the world, including an idol ghost that is attacking people and whatnot. And like I said, the chemistry is very solid. I really do like the character designs. I just hope the series kind of picks up the pace a little bit. And for our last piece of news, it's something that's about a week old, but it's still something I do want to let people know about. It's a series that I've been actually excited for for quite some while. I think we mentioned this particular story in one of our discussional podcast episodes that it was kind of leaked that this series was getting an anime adaptation. But yes, Spy X Family or Spy Family, however you want to say it, Spy Cross Family. I'm not exactly sure how they pronounce the X in there, but or if they don't. But yes, a website has opened for the series for an anime adaptation of it. So it's now official that this will be getting anime adaptation. And thankfully, we already have a time period, which is 2022. The story essentially follows a man who is given like the ultimate mission. And that mission is to procure a family <laughs> and to infiltrate a private school. And what he doesn't know is it seems like the wife that he has chosen is actually an assassin and the daughter that he has adopted has some sort of telepathic ability. And already the PV has me excited. It looks very fun. It looks like it's got that serious tone of the main character dealing with a family situation. And it just, it looks like the chemistry is going to be top notch with the series and I'm super excited for it. Let me know down in the comments if you're excited about any of the stuff or you're going to check any of it out. As usual, we appreciate everybody that supports us through our Patreon and our tips link in the description below as well as anybody that subscribes or follows us or shares this video. But I thank you all for watching and y'all take care.